Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about making a standalone install of Autopsy for Windows. Autopsy is an open source digital forensics platform developed by Basis Technology Corp and is widely used by digital forensics investigators and law enforcement agencies to analyze hard drives and smartphones. It offers a user friendly interface, supports various file systems and data formats, and integrates with other tools to enhance its capabilities. This lab will demonstrate installing Autopsy on a Windows 10 virtual machine running in VirtualBox. Lab requirements for this demonstration are one installation of VirtualBox with the extension pack, one Windows 10 virtual machine, which is actually optional, and a download of the latest version of Autopsy. Ideally, Autopsy should be installed onto a standalone forensics workstation running only Autopsy. This is not a lab requirement, but an industry standard for conducting a digital forensics investigation using Autopsy. Students are free to install Autopsy onto their own personal machine. From my Windows 10 virtual machine, I'm going to go ahead and launch Microsoft Edge. Once my browser opens up, into the address bar, I'm going to type the following www.autopsy.com and I can go forward slash download but that's not necessary. From the Autopsy site we're going to download the 64-bit. I'm going to go ahead and click that option. The download begins. Go ahead and let it finish downloading. It is approximately one gigabyte in size. Once the download is complete you'll notice that your Windows 10 operating system is going to complain so you're going to have to go up here and go to more actions. You're going to want to keep the certificate and again Windows is going to try to stop you from doing this. You have to go down here on this next screen and click on where it says show more and then you have to select keep anyway. And once Windows 10 gets done complaining we can go ahead and just open the file to begin the installation. And now we'll have to contend with Microsoft's Defender Smart Screen and again we have to click on where it says more info. Here we're going to select run anyway. The setup wizard begins. We can go ahead and click on next. And here you can select where you want to install Autopsy 2. I'm going to accept the default which is program files. I'm going to click next and I'll click install. Once the setup has completed just go ahead and click finish and we can close out the browser. And on our desktop, you will find a shortcut for Autopsy. Go ahead and double click it. On this next screen, you'll see that Autopsy stores data about each case in its central repository. This allows you to manage this repository. Just go ahead and click OK. If you get a security alert, just go ahead and check whatever box is unchecked and allow access. And once you see the interface for your Autopsy program, you know that you have successfully completed the installation of Autopsy onto your Windows 10 operating system. And that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about installing Autopsy onto a virtual installation of Windows 10. In our next short video presentation, we're going to start a new case in Autopsy and we'll see how we go about importing a forensic image for examination. Thank you for watching.